Uh, hello, Professor uh, Jun Kim. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. OK. Yes. Yeah, today uh, we have a case of uh, appendage closure. And uh, together with me, uh, Professor Min Su Zhou and the fellow Min Su Kim uh, will assist the procedure. And first, uh, Professor Zhou will present the data, uh, clinical data. Okay. Please. Yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a 66-year-old gentleman who has an episode of massive hemoptysis in the last year. At that time, he received ICU care, mechanical ventilation, and bronchial atrial embolization. Although he is indicated for the standard decoagulation therapy, it was not used because of the previous life-threatening bleeding events. So he currently takes only copidogrel, and his chest to back score was two point, and his balance score was three point. Next. And he has also qualities of diabetes, and uh, he has pr his previous history of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis and bronchiectasis. Next. The EKG showed the atrial fibrillation, and echocardiography showing the uh, structure in normal heart with a normal systolic function. And next. Uh, we will use the watchman device under general anesthesia with the TE guidance. And Dr. Uh, Professor, uh, Professor, uh, Professor Liu will, will review the T findings. Yeah, hello. My name is Seung Ali from Asan Medical Center. My subspecialty is cardiac imaging, especially echocardiography. Thank you, uh, Dr. Kim and Joe. And it's my honor to be here and introduce this case. Uh, there are pre planning uh, transesophageal echocardiographic images. As you know, the anatomic definition of LA appendage orifice is typically different from the landing zone orifice for various device. Uh, next, next page, please. Uh, these 2D TEE images demonstrate the sizing for the watchman device. The LA appendage orifice diameter and depth are measured at 0, 45, 90, and 135 degree. And the maximal diameter is 21 millimeter. And it has really deep depths up to 30 millimeter. When we estimate the LA appendage orifice sizing, left to circumflex artery and uh, wafferin ridge used uh, uh, for the landmarks. Uh, for watchman device, the LA landing zone is measured from circumflex artery to a point one to two centimeter below the tip of the uh, watchman uh, uh, wafferin ridge. So depth is measured from the plane of the orifice to the apex. Next page, please. Slide가 보여주고 있는 슬라이드가 다음 장에 나옵니다. Uh, next, next page, please. Would you s uh, next, next. Would you show the three D T E image? Next slide, please. Next, next. Yeah. Uh, on 3 T image, the orifice looks oval. The maximal diameter is 22, which is similar to 2D images. So we recommend the 27 millimeter device size, depending on the LA pressure. OK, let's move and on. We did uh, echocardiographic guidance and transeptal puncture, uh, midpoint of mid sept uh, atrial septum, low side. And the uh, uh, measured LA pressure was 90 millimeter mercury. And will you review the real time T findings? Uh, Dr. Lee, please. Uh, ah, okay. The maximum size was measured on the zero uh, degree. So it was uh, 24, the same as the pre planning. So we decided to the size of 27 millimeter of the watchman device. Uh, next uh, floral image, please. Yeah, it is the 90 degree view and 126 view. And we did transeptal puncture and we exchanged double curved shears. And we did 
uh, angiogram, array of cranial view, and array of caudal view. Uh, measured dimension of array appendage orifice was 18 millimeter uh, by angiography, but based on T finding, we selected device, uh, 27 millimeter watchman device, and we did, we prepared the device and we positioned the uh, uh, um, shift. Sorry. Hi. 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 Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you. Uh, as, uh, maybe we can have a discussion here. Okay. Uh, all of you will um, maybe can give comments. Uh, before you uh, put in your 27mm watchman, so any disagreements or any other opinion other than 27mm device watchman? Because your, uh, I noticed that the initially your maximum size is 22, but after the, the procedure, uh, you measured the maximum size is 24. Yeah. So do you think it's necessary to upside it to 30? Because uh, from the angiogram, all of you can appreciate that the marking over the, the delivery shift is good enough for 30 mm device. So according to the watchman experience, a little bit oversized for the watchman should be adequate. Because I think that uh, if the maximum size is 24, you choose 27, the, uh, the, the oversize may not be uh, great enough. So we will consider to upsize to 30. Uh. Because the maximum size of uh, bandage orifice is only 24. The recommended size, is, as you know, is 27. But uh, Yes, uh, you said recommended for 27. Yes. But because there is a good depth enough, the yes. depth yeah, of depth the is enough. is yes. very... Yes. Mm, yeah. 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 So because the marking of the delivery ship is used for us to help to tell us how large of the watchman device can be used. So you can see the marking from the angiogram that the, because the, the second marker is 27, if the marker of the 27 is well distal to the circumference or landing zone, then you can choose upsize to 30. What's your opinion, the Imong? Actually, the rather size more, much more stable yeah. in this patient. So I think the 30 is the enough mm -hmm. to implant this patient. So 27 or 30? 30. 30. 30. So I agree yeah. because uh, the space there allows you to choose a bigger device. Just, I think you have to verify the measurements. I think in this angle, it's very difficult to tell. It, although it is measured 18, but this is a crotal. I guess it's just measuring one of the loops. So uh, maybe a cranial can help. Maybe we check the hydration status, everything to verify again. So I think if I have a choice between two devices, I would tend to choose a bigger one in case that the deficits can accommodate the device. And the experience also learned from the, the operator from the Potet AF trial, because initially the chance of a device dislodgement is due to a little bit undersized. So after more experience, then the operator of watchman will tend to have a little bit oversizing, uh, much more than the recommended chart, maybe up to 20 or 30 something oversizing for the watchman. So if the depth is good enough, then we tend to uh, choose a little bit larger in order to minimize the chance of uh, amplification. Okay. So of course, uh, up to you. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what about the uh, the LA pressure at this point? Is it more than twelve or more than ten or uh, nineteen, 19 millimeter mercury. mercury? So what about at this point, one hundred and thirty-three degrees? So where's the measurement at one hundred and thirty-three? Uh, sorry, five. Sorry, at this point. So can I have a look at the measurement again? The, what's the LA pressure in this patient? Nineteen. No, the the nineteen. Okay. Nineteen millimeter so mercury. Um, Will you review the T? Yeah, about. Uh, as you see, the uh, the orifice is uh, over shape, so isn't it uh, big bigger than the uh, the maximum size is uh, 24 millimeter, but another uh, size is like uh, 19 millimeter and 14 millimeter, isn't it so big big? So. Uh Everybody recommend the 30 millimeter watchman device. No, we do respect your, 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 own your own decision, but I think the way to do it, if you put a smaller device, maybe a little bit deeper, and maybe a bigger device and a little bit protruded out with a cloth, uh, 
suiting the ostium. So I, I think we will actually follow your decision, but our initial discussion, maybe we may could choose a bigger device in some situations. Maybe, like maybe I propose that we can make a vote. Uh, who will choose 27? <laughs> Raise up a hand. <laughs> okay, one, two. How about 30? Who chose 30? Yeah, I can see more hands uh, uh, from the conference center. Of course, uh, uh, Dr. Ovi, respect uh, your decision. So, yeah. go ahead. Uh, we will first uh, try 27 millimeter uh, watchman device first, and the uh, result is okay. not optimal. Okay. We will change. Yeah, okay, please keep okay. going. Yeah. Thank you. We remove the uh, pictal catheter. Please. Uh, also, uh, one comment on the angiogram. Uh, for the watchman device, I won't use the mother pigtail because I don't rely on the measurement of the, for the calibration on the mother pigtail because I rely on the marking over the delivery shifts. Because if I use the mother pigtail, then it will uh, disturb my reading over the marker. So I just use the mother pigtail in amulet aero device. Mm -hmm. So this is my practice. So I would like to listen to what kind of different practice mm -hmm. from all of you. Yeah, I think the sheath is good enough for calibration. Yeah, yeah. So do you usually implant in this angle, or cranial or crotal, or is any special preference? I usually prefer aerial cranial view, and I oh, check yeah. the and uh, direction of the sheath using transit fuzzer echo. How about the direction of the sheath by TE? Will you comment, Dr. Lee? Uh, yeah, we can see the landmark too in, uh, on the echocardiography, and uh, I think it is the latest uh, mark, and the uh, position is very good. Yes, Dr. Lee, can you go to 135 degree? Because from 135 degree, you can see the, the direction of the shift, right. whether it is anterior or posterior. Right. Now, it's very clear to see that the tip of the shift, the direction is anterior. That's right. on our right-hand side. Mm -hmm. I think the direction is OK. Yeah. Uh, I will uh, unsheath the I think your recommendation was right. I think it's too, too small. <laughs> of, of course, we can do a measurement here to see how is the compression first okay. before we uh, pull, pull out the device. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we me get a measurement of the compression from four angles? Okay. Then if it's not okay, and then we can change. This is nine degree view, a zero degree view. I think the landing is too deep, so mm. I strongly recommend the recapture the device and uh, 
deploy the more proximal side. Okay. The landing is too deep. Uh, I agree with you. Yeah. I will recapture. Depth is too enough, so you a little bit provoke the delivery shift and the landing the device more proximal side. Okay. It would be better. So sometimes it be good. I mean, in, in some in practice, they can do an injection to see relative the, pos the marker position and where you want to land. Because uh, my intention sometimes to push a little bit inside, but I think just now is it landed and it opened inside one of the loops, anterior loops. Okay. So it's very compressed, but it's actually inside. I would uh, try to unshift. I think the size is not enough. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I try to uh, for fully capture. So you decide to upsize or yes. what is your right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Upsizing. No, no, no. It's okay. No. <laughs> yeah, sometimes life is difficult because uh, you have encounter a relatively less deep appendage you may want to compromise by decreasing the size. But I think this case would be a good room to accommodate a bigger size. So that's why Gary was, I mean, I, I agree a lot on the device selection. Yes, yes. Sometimes I would do injection to see uh, whether actually it exactly will land. The, actually, the marker will guide you where, where the, okay. the, the device, I mean, the approximately will land. Agreed. So you can be avoid, I mean, you can, it can give you a guide uh, not to be too deep or too proximal. So, so for angiogram? watchman, actually, before procedure, uh, I will have a two device size in my mind. Mm -hmm. Like this case, I would think about either 27 or 30. Mm -hmm. And the final decision would depend on the, the, the position of the delivery shift, whether the marking is located at the landing zone. Mm -hmm. If the landing zone is well distant to the, 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 the marking, then I would tend to choose a bigger size mm -hmm. to have a better result by a little bit oversizing. So I think, um, yeah. So the during the bigger size preparation, so why don't you try more proximal landing? Proximal the, landing before the change of device size. I think the the compression is very over compressed. So I think the proximal landing is would be much better. Okay. So before the changing the device, I strongly recommend that the landing the proximal side okay. a little bit more. I will try one more time, <laughs> lastly. Yes. Mm. How about this position? I usually do the procedure, the area of quarter angles, because the axis is more good enough when you see the quarter angles. So Dr. Lin recommended the area of quarter angles. Okay. okay. Okay, good. The axis is good. Mm -hmm. The direction is uh, superior. Okay. And Why don't you put the contrast media? And the first, yes. Contrast media. Okay. Oh, too proximal. Yeah. You little bit advanced the shifts, little bit more. But be careful. Yeah. Be careful. Stop slowly. there. Stop there. Okay. Okay. Stop. Okay. Too, too long. Yeah. Okay. Touch again. And you. Touching. Okay. The try. Yes. You don't push the device. Okay. You don't push the device. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Why don't you? To put the cine, cine. 
Okay, good. Will you review the T finding? I think the, yeah, T is good, good enough. Good. Okay, good, good position. How about this view? You can see the gap here. Can you put a color no. on it? Yeah. Color. Is it good? Decrease the velocity, please. Decrease mm. the aliasing I, I velocity. Okay. Okay. Actually, I accept this position. Mm. But another angle. And also measure the size. Okay, we measure that. It's enough. So what do you think about the space between the left of Palmer Ridge and also the edge of the uh, we may do some measurement, for example, how many, how much percentage of, because we know the, uh, the, t the, the head of the uh, watchman is covered by fabric, so as long as about 50% is outside. But I think it appears that is m many of the portion is outside, mm. and there's also a, a room there. Mm. So compression is definitely good. It is compressed by something, yeah. but I don't think it's compressed by the ostium of the area. It's compressed by a particular loop. Mm. Maybe sometime injection can help, maybe a color uh, check. Okay. Uh, Angel, please. Angel. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Try again. Angel, ready? There's no gap on color. Top color. Okay, good. Yeah. Dr. Kim? Yes. Dr. Kim, I'm Dr. Lim. Oh. From I think I position is very good, so I accept this device without changing any other the bigger size. So result is good. How about the so peri device Dr. Lee, leak? So Dr. any uh, the peri device leak in this case? Uh, uh, Dr. Lee, it is acceptable. There's uh -huh. no leak. Compression is okay. So we we will do a tuck test here at this moment. Okay. okay. Mm. Is it stable? Is it stable? Yeah. yeah. I think it is stable. Okay, I think so. Why don't you detach the cable? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. So no yeah. leak and the compression, compression rate is it's okay. Good. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's deploy. Deploy was done. Shine, please. Okay. Yeah. Are you clean here? Okay. Looks so good. Okay. Good. Very beautiful picture. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The problem is the not size, maybe the, the location yeah. of the the watchman. Uh, so the yeah, final result was good. Good. Very good. good. Okay. So okay, thank you for a uh, nice nice demonstration of the watchman case. So we are moving to the other room for the, the other case.